Hello there, gardeners and growers. Full Circle Soils and Compost here with our gardening tips and plant it yourself DIY. Hey, Farmer Craig, what hey. are you doing there? Well, I just got this little tub of tomatoes. Believe it or not, I picked these tomatoes in November, and it's now the middle of February. Look at them. They're absolutely beautiful. This variety is called Ponderosa Celoro. It comes all the way from Italy. And uh, so I'm going to save the seeds. Because, so how do you uh, do that there? Well, here's what I do. First I do, I take my knife and I cut. Two ways to get the seeds out. One, sometimes I just squeeze and then wipe that off. And you can see in this container how that's going in there. Or otherwise, the other way is just take your finger and push it in here. See like that? And those seeds come out. And that's all there is to it. There's a lot of gel around tomato seeds. If you're in a big hurry and you happen to see a stellar tomato in a grocery store, you could just smear a tomato seed on a paper towel and it will work. But what we want to do next is we're going to put some water in with these seeds and I'm going to take the seeds out of the rest of these. Then we let them set in this container for seven days. Seven Usually, days. Usually, sometimes it could be a little bit more, but it'll get a little moldy and yucky on top. We put a lid on it, and you want to make sure that you mark it and identify it. This one, remember, is, remember, is Ponderosa Celoro. Then after it ferments, what you do is you take a strainer like this, and you simply pour the tomatoes in the strainer, hold this under the kitchen sink, wash it through. I dump them out on a paper towel like this, and then let them dry. This one is called Pork Chop. It's a Brad Gates tomato. That's cool, but look at the seeds. They're little fuzzy tomato seeds. And you know, you can pay a lot of money for these, but you can't buy the Ponderosa Cell Oro that's been grown here in Carson Valley for three seasons, unless you talk to Farmer Craig. Yeah. Well, there's a DIY again with Full Circle Soils and Compost. Plant it yourself.